get up close here. We may end up pushing one right aside without even knowing he's doing a flip. We did that last episode, so we got too close with the leg. Right the wolf! We called it! everybody welcome back today guys to the channel car x drift racing we're back here online right we have one of the new cars from last episode that i have yet to drive i've already pre-built made this thing it was a couple million dollars i do believe from start to finish but it looks definitely worth it i feel like the wide body looks pretty good right of course so before we start dad joke of the day coming from nolan gatewood and he goes what do you call the person who cares for chickens a chicken tender right okay man huge thanks for watching leave your dad jokes down below and of course don't forget to slap that like button. We're gonna start off here, Navarro Base A, and uh, let's see how this Audi wagon slides. And I do not have the high torque chip in yet. Um, may pop it in, I'm not really too sure. Haven't played Car X for a bit here, so let's see if everything's still working good. Got the wheel going, right? Yeah, okay. Oh! Car looks good. I'm a big fan of this wagon though, right? I feel like wagons are really underrated. I was looking at a nice black, um, Pretty sure it was a Honda wagon the other day. Perfect little grocery getter for the family, right? Ooh! Oh boy, that's just a tap. I was watching a really good informative video the other night by Gooeyus. I don't know if you guys have checked out his channel, um, but he has some really good episodes out there. And he did a uh, tutorial video. Everybody keeps asking drifting tutorials, right? It's a very hard thing to do. You got to get it right, or you're going to be criticized heavily, right? And uh, he put out a really good video, and it's doing very well. Traction's doing great, so make sure you guys go check out that channel. If you guys have not already, subscribe over there. He's posting daily content, I do believe. If not, uh, pretty damn frequently. Right? He's also been doing his series on Top 10 as well, too, which has been pretty cool to see somebody else branching out and doing something as well, too. So we may have to get back into there and start doing some Top 10s with him. It's just really cool, though, to see another channel just, you know, doing some big things out there, uh, you know, with the car community. And, uh, you know, just hats off to him and what he's doing. He's doing some big car leads and stuff like that. So make sure you guys go check him out. And, oh, nope, we made it, we made it. How am I running out of time? Oh my god, that's right. I did the little car show at the start. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Car looks good, though. I, I actually like that rear black spoiler that's on the back there. Um, the paint, right? I mean, everything, the livery. I mean, I didn't have much time to work with here, right? I did what I could with what I had. Let's bring it up to 861 horsepower. Turbocharged. Oh, 1,015. Okay, we got a lot of power. We got quite a bit of power. Uh, let's go ahead and save it. Tandems with randoms. Look at all the damn servers this man has up. Holy shit. And drive. Let's go into here. Let's see how we do. We have a lot of horsepower. I don't think that I'm actually ready for the amount of power that we're going to bring in here, but you never know. Oh, we got quite a few people. Oh, shit. Where are we? Is this Bathurst? This has got to be Bathurst. This man's got the biggest wing I've ever seen in my life. I almost clipped that wall. I need to increase the force feedback a bit. Woo! It's a fast one here. I'm already at 100 force feedback. Okay, maybe it's time. Uh... Oh, wait. No, oh, yeah, it feels not bad. We're in Bathurst, so you can't go to the There we go. Where did everybody else go? Did no one fall? Oh, okay, we got a couple people back there. Put in the torque chip. Let's see how this feels. Oh, maybe I should definitely bring this down from. Oh, I can already feel the wheel kicking in hard. Oh, it feels a lot bigger on this, no? It feels a little bit more extended. The actual bathroom just feels a little bit tighter. I don't know. That's just kind of what I'm feeling here. Oh, that's a tough extension. I'm going six gear on this thing, and we're going to throw this, hopefully. Keep it going, man. Gotta go faster over here. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Tandems! He's right behind me and we are holding 289. Oh no, you so you had no intention of making that corner. We're gonna definitely go ahead quickly change this up and bring down horsepower uh 981 sounds okay right i'll bring this out for a little bit more top speed in the gears that's about it i don't want to change too much out wheel 
I've been going with the 100 wheel adhesion. I don't want to change anything with that. I'm trying to keep my builds kind of roughly the same now and uh, not trying to mess with them too much. So we're going to keep everything that we have. It does feel a little bit stiff though. So we're going to actually loosen up the rear a bit. Let that soak in. Front as well too. For spring length, maybe drop it one. Tandems with random. Let's go into this one here. Trone, 15 out of 16. I actually forget what this... Oh, I know what this track is. Yep. This car's going to be fun. Oh, we got a pack up here. Holy shit. Wang Long, okay. And we go to the back of the line here. We have quite the pack of cars. I may even just turn this off for right now just so we can probably get some slides here without any lag. Man, it's been so long since I've been back on this track trying to get some proper tandems. Definitely missed this game. Gotta come back on this more often. If you guys want to keep seeing it, slap that like button down below. Please don't let me hit that guy. Oh, I think I did. It was the leg. Yes, yeah, I guess he's right there. A little bit of a uh, screen lag on there with some of the cars. Okay, yeah, I'll just fall right back in. Drive right over if I have to. I mean, CarX has really never been known for great servers, especially on these random ones. You never know, right? I mean... Sometimes it's good, though. And I think I lost... all car sound again. Like, why? Why is that a thing? You can't stop. You can't stop drifting, man. Keep the sound on. I don't even know where I ended up going, to be completely honest here. I think I'm in a uh, different spot on the track. Nobody's out here drifting it with me. We got somebody over here. Oh, I'm sorry! We got some donuts going around here. The wagon's been holding up nicely. Um, it's a little... It's a little tight on the force feedback, so let's actually bring this down while they're doing their thing around here. Get a little wheel tuning in. Make sure everything's feeling good. Natural damper off. No, fr okay. Yeah, I think I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and run uh, run a couple more laps here. These guys are killing it, man. Let's go. Slide with Red Boy. Going underneath the sky. Oh yeah, we just came in. Bad, bad time. I think I lost my sound again for my car. Thankfully, we can hear everybody else's car pretty good, but. I don't understand why that's a thing though. I mean, that's so weird. It has to do with something with the wheel and my connection, I feel like. I don't know. Or maybe it's a game connection. Does anyone else have this weird sound issue? It just feels really weird. I don't know. Let me get up close here. We may end up pushing one right aside without even knowing anything about it. We did that last episode because we got too close with the lag. Right the wolf! I called it! Are you kidding me? <laughs> we just went to the spin cycle, man. Watch out. I am dangerous. <laughs> Do I have a lag switch? Like, right, remember that shit from back in the day in SOCOM days and stuff like that in PlayStation 2 online? Like, lag switching and shit like that. I never had one growing up, but I used to hear stories. Right? Especially SOCOM would be bad for it. I think that was probably the worst game, I feel like, for uh, the lag switch. Oh, no, no, no. I need, I need to get some proper tandems, man. That was just... That was harsh. We're going to go Cami Road. Let's do the challenge, man. This is probably one of the hardest ones. The snake challenge. Top to bottom. Cami Road tandems. We're starting off with the Vanguard. And... Leave it as is. Here we go. This should be fun. Here we go. Get a proper connection. Clean. No lag. Oh, we're in the spot, yeah. Ooh, that was so damn close. Can we get it? Yep. Oh, wow. They gave me a damn problem for that after I just killed that. Oh, no, we're in the wrong area. Restricted area. Never mind. Red zone. We went into it. Run looked good, though, either way, I feel like. But... Ooh, that was a good run. And this wagon just soaks it up though. After we did the little uh, tightening, or the, sorry, the loosening on the suspension, that was insane! They gave me contact? Should we bring out the wide body Hellcat? Let's do it. We ran this last time. Let's see how it holds up with our build from today. Here we go. This should be fun. If you guys missed this episode, definitely go and check this out. This will be linked down below for you guys. Oh. Come on out. This one's a lot tighter, I can tell. Ooh. 
fourth gear. What? Collisions. Are you kidding me right now? That, oh, wow. Hopefully, I can redo that with the Vanguard wagon and kill it, man. We're going to try that one more time here. Here we go. Last tandems of the evening. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. This charger is fast, though. Stay with. I don't think I'm going through the damn section at this point. Gotta be so careful. One tip. It's done. Hey, we got a nice little one right there. Maybe get a little bit closer, but... Not bad! Maybe we can take him out at the end, heck yeah. Okay, show us any different cameras. Oh, that's a sick shot coming down the mountain. Nice transition right here. Right, you gotta be so delicate with it coming down, throwing it. See our skids at the front tire. Nice transition a bit there. Ooh, got real close on it. I think I can get closer though. I think that's possible. Okay, we got one last attempt for today, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode here on Car X Drift Racing here on the Xbox Series X and uh, let me know what car you guys want to see done for next time here on the channel. Ooh, slight contact. We can make contact looks like here, okay? Just not like a lot. You can't like move the car in any way, but you can tap it though. Oh, come on now. Thank you. I gotta stop going full throttle on this damn thing. Oh my this is the gear for the Charger. We're down to four. Oh! Just stomping on that pedal to get it going here. Oh! Double dip! Reverse almost! I don't think I hit reverse actually, to be completely honest. I wish I did. Oh, are you kidding me? Hold oh, it Alright, that's gonna do it for today's episode here on Car Extreme Racing online let me know your thoughts down below on the build and uh what you guys did with your wagon if you guys ended up building them and what you guys want to see done for next episode leave it on the comment section down below huge thanks for watching for today all the wheel links will be found down below and right there man angled out once again we didn't end up fine tuning this unfortunately to where i wanted it but um you know the car did good overall and we did get a couple tandems online right but i think i need to just dial everything in it's been a little bit since i've you know turned everything on and you know, ran it on car x so i'm excited to see what the next big update has in store for car x drift racing let me know your thoughts down below and of course i'll see you guys back here tomorrow i'm out peace <laughs>